Like the video and subscribe right now if you like a good game of soccer. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make your computer look a little bit more cool. Yeah, you got it. So it looks more neat and uh, just so it has a few cool features. I've made a video about this a long time ago about uh, a program that we're going to install. It's called Rain Meter. We're going to install a few things actually. The one that's really kind of cool is called Rain Meter. Uh, I installed this a long time ago in another video that I made here. Uh, this one is uh, actually going to install a few things that's going to make it look like Jarvis and that's going to make your computer kind of cool like Jarvis. But today I'm going to show you how to make something more like uh, functional, uh, not so gimmicky and stuff. And if you watch till the end of the video, I will show you how to install the best wallpaper that there is and it's got some uh, moving stuff. Uh, like uh, audio bars that move up and down uh, with sound, uh, uh, not SoundCloud, but with Spotify that's links to Spotify. So when you play music on Spotify, uh, little icons come up and the title comes up. And well, I'm going to show you how to install all that, how to get a Windows team running, uh, because we're going to put a little team on our on our Windows. Uh, there's a few teams, but I'm going to show you which ones I got right now, so that it looks exactly like it sh it was shown in the beginning there. So we're going to go ahead and just hop over to the computer right now and I, I'm going to show you how to do that. Like the video and subscribe right now if you like cute turtles. So I wanted to let you know that uh, doing this we're going to install a few things and it's actually going to run in the background and these things actually take a lot of GPU and CPU power so if you have like a slow laptop like a really old one I guess probably older than five years old uh, you probably don't want to install all this stuff on it or else it's really gonna slow it down but if you have a newer computer like uh, the one that I'm working on right here we're gonna do this at my desktop I was showing you my laptop but we're gonna do this at the desktop here and uh, because it's much faster and uh, because all my recording stuff is here so are we ready to give our desktop a new look let's do this let's get to it so we're gonna try to do this fairly quick I went ahead and created a VM for us so that we can start from fresh so I have a fresh operating system of Windows uh, so I can show you guys exactly what to do to get the, your computer looking exactly like like this one here so I, I'm gonna go ahead actually right now and, I, and right now I'm gonna go ahead and log into my VM using a remote connection so I'm gonna RDP and we, I called it awesome style so there's my how to do this here and go so this is what your computer might look like when you get it or when you open it or whatever so you're gonna want to download a few things so the first thing we're gonna want to download is uh, ultra team patcher so we want to look for that and this is the first one here in Google search ultra team patcher here it is click on that download it's downloading real quick. It downloaded. All right, here, here it is. We're gonna install it. Hit next. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go back because I wanna run this as administrator. So I'm gonna right click on it. No, you can't. So I'm gonna show in folders. Right click on it, run as administrator. All right, here we go. Yes, yes. I agree then you can see that your files here are not patched so you need them to be patched all right and uh, I had the problems when I first did this I had lots of problems with them uh, they weren't getting patched for some reason so I had to take ownership of three files uh, I can show you after we do this so let's let's just go ahead and install this right now so I'm gonna install this it's gonna try to patch these files it says we have to reboot so we're going to go ahead and reboot. So the VM is going to reboot. Or it should. Here 
And it looks like the VM restarted. So let's just wait. And of course this could be your, the VM could be your laptop or your desktop. So this is just uh, an example. All right, so the team thing has been uh, installed. So you want to make sure that it's installed. So you want to run it again. So we're going to run it again. Hit next. Next, I agree. And see, they're not patched. So they weren't patched. So yeah, I'm going to have to uh, take ownership of these files here. Okay, so our patching didn't work, so now we gotta take ownership of these files. So there's actually two files that we need to take care of because this one doesn't need patching. So there's two files that we gotta do. So you gotta open your file explorer and you gotta go to your C drive and go to Windows and go to System32 and find this one file called Team UI. So this one right here, and we're gonna wanna hit properties, and hit security, and as you can see, the applications don't have full control, and neither do I, I don't have full control, so I can't edit it. So we need to edit our permissions here, and make the, all the, make sure that all the apply, applications can use it too, so I'd like to just tick both here, so make sure that it works about to change settings yes okay okay so now we did that one uh, I'm just gonna check to make sure it's good sometimes yeah okay so we're good and then the other one is UX something so yeah this is it this file right here we need to do the same thing we need to take ownership of it so <clears throat> allow administrator allow Yours might not be administrator, yours, you might not have to do this. Yes, okay, okay. All right, so now we have ownership of the files, so now we can try to do this again. So I'm gonna open this in the folder like this and run as administrator. Okay, so here we go. Let's try patching the files again. Okay, files have been patched. Reboot. Wait for the VM to reboot. Usually it's pretty quick. All right, so we're back in the VM here. And we're gonna wanna run our file there and make sure that we're patched. <clears throat> so yay, we're patched. So now you can see that we're ready to get some patching done, some themes done and stuff like that. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, we're gonna wanna install Rain Meter. So this is a pretty cool tool that I made a video about a long time ago on uh, how to make your desktop like look like Jarvis. So we use Rainmeter and it was kind of buggy back then. But yeah, it's it's nice now or nicer anyway. So we're gonna want to download it like this. Click and click and click. Hit yes. Next. Launch Rainmeter at startup. Hit next. Run rain meter, hit finish. Rain meter is gonna pop up with these things. We don't want these, so we're gonna right click on this, this one, and hit unload skin. So it gets rid of all of them. And next thing we're gonna to wanna to look for is called, uh, just do a search for thin deviant art rain meter. So this bar, tin bar suite. For, for rain meter on Deviant or on, uh, Deviant Art, we're gonna need to download this. So you're gonna need an account here to download this. So we're gonna log in. I have an account here. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna download this 10 bar suite from but for rain meter. Click here, download, allow, and run the bar. 
Okay, we're gonna run this and you can leave it as is and just click install. Alright, so now if I minimize this, there's gonna be a bunch of cool stuff going on here. Okay, so there's a bunch of cool stuff going on. Uh, next thing that I want to do is I, I kind of change this a little bit. So we're going to right click and go manage skins. And this is the tin bar that we got here. Uh, I don't want this icons thing here. We're going to unload this. And the menu panel. We're going to unload this too. Okay, so that's done for now. Uh, we need to, I don't like the GPU one, I can't get the GPU running, so if you can get the GPU one running then you can keep it, but mine, yeah, I, it wasn't, I couldn't get it working, so I'm gonna unload that. And for the temperature, well we need to get uh, another program for it. So the other program that we need to get for the temperature is called Core Temp right here, so we need Core Temp. So we're gonna download it. Install core tab. Okay, and we're gonna launch core tab. There you go. Okay, well, it says that it doesn't work because I'm in a VM, so it's not working for me, but that's how you do it. You, you install core tab for the temperature. Uh, for that to work and that's why it's not working for me because I'm in a VM so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Nexus bar Okay, by WinStep, we're gonna download the Nexus system bar by WinStep. Uh, so, or the Nexus dock. So here we go, download the Nexus dock. It's gonna open right here, or it's gonna download right here. And we're gonna open it when it's done, 37 megs. Okay, and while that's going on, we're gonna wanna download one more thing. You wanna gonna do, you're gonna wanna do a search for Love Lance. Giant Art Windows Team. So there, there it is, Love Lance. We need that. So I'm gonna click on that. <clears throat> well, that's the one that I have actually are running. So we're gonna want to download this. So next, Nexus is downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and install Nexus. Run. Okay, so Nexus is starting, okay, or the installation is starting, so we're going to go ahead and install this. Alright, we're going to launch Nexus now. Alright, so we got this big ass ugly bar here. I don't really like it, how big and nasty it is, so I usually change a bunch of settings in it. So we're gonna open it up. And, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna make it smaller because it's definitely too big. And I don't like how it's attached to the top there. Okay, so I can move it wherever I want now. Yeah, I like to put it down here. And then, appearance. How large do we want the icons? 30, dock transparency, 90. Uh, I'm gonna put it at 85. There, okay. And then uh, apply. Also effects here. I wanna change that a little bit. The icons are too big when I hover, so I turn that down to like 40 pixels. Or 42, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so apply that, hit OK, and there we go, we got a little 
nice bar here and I usually remove all of these from the dock Oops. Yeah, we remove this too because we'll get a cool one Okay, so we remove all of them from the dock, and then we can maybe add some other ones. So I'm gonna add this quick restart I like to have here. So we get quick restart and fast boot off. And then you can add whatever buttons you want. As you can see here, I got some, uh, I got Google Chrome and then uTorrent here, and then my file explorer and sleep there as well. So you can add whatever you want here. So that's the Nexus bar. And yeah, I like to move this a little bit down. This a little bit down. I, I think I'm gonna get rid of the background there. I don't like how it's got that background. So, oops. Uh, effects or appearance, dark transparency, there you go. Okay, I like how it's all transparent like that. Yeah, that's way better. And no icons here. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my taskbar here. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna put it up here. Taskbar settings. <clears throat> uh, I want this one and this one. All right, so that's that's that for the taskbar settings. <clears throat> so we can close this now. And <clears throat> now we downloaded that team here. So we downloaded Lovelance. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. And we're gonna go in here and into the Windows 10 teams. And since we have the thin bar, <clears throat> we're gonna download this one or extract this one. Uh, so we're gonna copy all these Copy and we're gonna want to paste them into the Windows folder under resources And then teams and we're gonna want to paste them in here And there we go that's been pasted in here. So we've got some new themes now So now if we minus this or minimize this and we go to personalize And we go to teams all right, let's change the color first. We're gonna want a dark color. So dark. And. And then we're gonna wanna go to themes. And we're gonna choose the Lovelace, just this one, Lovelace. And it should boot up. All right, so we got the Lovelace installed. Lovelace Dark, this is the dark one. So there you go, our icons are looking kind of cool now and everything is kind of dark. And yeah, cool looking. So we're kind of getting there. <clears throat> so the next thing that you're gonna want to do is uh, we're gonna get that cool looking garbage can here. So you're gonna want to go, you're gonna want to open your browser again. And we're gonna want to do for another. We're gonna want to do another search for Mon Divine Art Windows 10 Team. There you go. That's the one that we want. Mon, right here. Mon by Hip Optorium or whatever. So we're gonna want to open that or click on it and load it up. And here we go. We're gonna want to download this one and click on it and sure but yeah we just don't untick this one that apply included layout 
and then hit apply or install. Okay, so now it's been installed. So now we just need to initialize it. So we're gonna go to manage skins, turn this down, go to mod, and what we're looking for is the recycle bin right here and go load. Okay, so we got a cool looking recycle bin up here. And we're gonna put this right here or uh, right over here is pretty cool. Okay, so to make our transparent bars, we're going to need this translucent taskbar 1.2. So we're going to go ahead and open that so that it's transparent like this, so that our bar is like that. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And it's a rain meter skin, so we're going to go ahead and open it and install. So I'll automatically install it. So as you can see, it's transparent now and you can see through it. So you can, so it looks like there's nothing there. <coughs> All right, so the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna look for something called Monster Brain Meter. Okay, so Monster Cat visual Visualizer. So we're gonna wanna download that. And this is a GitHub that we gotta download. So we gotta go to GitHub right here. So click on that. And there's a couple things that we need to install to get this working actually, to get it working with Spotify so that it shows the Spotify names on your desktop. So we're going to go ahead and click on this link right here. <coughs> and then it gives you instructions on how to do it. So you got to install a couple things. So we got to do a couple, couple commands. So I'm going to go ahead and actually minimize this. And I'm going to pull up my cool PowerShell that we did in the other video. Here's my cool PowerShell that we did in that other video. So we're gonna uh, uh, enter PS session awesome style home .com. All right, it should start a PS session. Okay, so we got a PowerShell session going on here. So it's the same thing as you on your on your computer just going to start oh, hitting the start button and looking for PowerShell and looking for PowerShell here it is and then uh, make sure you right click and run as administrator when you do it so I'm gonna minimize this and we are in the session here so I should be able to paste what we copied from that website right here so yeah I've had this problem before you need to make sure that you run Internet Explorer before you can uh, actually do this just once you need to run it just once in your computer Internet Explorer okay so now that it's ran that's it and I, I, I can close it now I just gotta run it one time And maybe I gotta hit this too. Okay, so I ran it. Now I can close it. And now I can run this command. All right, now it's downloading what we need to uh, make monster, <sighs> monster cat visual visualizer work with uh, Spotify. So we need to download this. Okay, so the next command that we need to do is this command right here. Spicetify. Okay, so whoops, so we're gonna run Spicetify. So it generated some stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do this here, this other command. Oops. In our PowerShell. And now we need to run the sp Spicetify, I guess it's called. Okay, so we'll run the Spicetify in this PowerShell. Okay, so Spotify is uh, spiced up, it says. So it should be ready to run. 
So Spotify is spiced up. All right, so now we can close or minimize this anyways. And no, I don't think we download the one thing. Okay, so we need to go back here. We need this monster cat visualizer for rain, rain, rain meter. Now that we did that other thing. Okay, so now we need to install it. We can hit install. It will start installing Monster Cat. Okay, allow. Okay, set this up. So here's Monster Cat. Uh, this bar I don't like because we, we won't use it. Well, it depends. You can use it if depends what kind of background you're going to get on. So we're gonna unload this for now though and make sure that you change this one thing here media player you need to click on here this one and see right now it's telling you what spotify songs are play is playing right now so we need to change put that here i'm going to go to view and hide the desktop items or yeah desktop items move that down here a little bit Okay, so now that that's all kind of starting to look kind of cool. It's, it's really starting to look like this one, right? Slowly but surely And we still got our pretty cool looking Windows Explorer here um, If you want it in the options you can get rid of this black bar here uh, That's in the folder options Okay, so we got this working here. It will play music when we hit play uh, skip songs and stuff buttons that that okay so now for the background and it's through steam so if you don't have the steam app you're gonna have to download and, and get a steam application or a steam account i mean so we're gonna go to head to go to steam here welcome steam and we're gonna download steam here and install steam of course it's free to install uh, and it's free to make an account, but to download the software that we're gonna want, it's actually five dollars. So yeah, it's uh, it's only five dollars, and it really is the coolest uh, desktop <clears throat> background moving background uh, program that you, that I've seen out there yet. And it's got some audio things in it too, like I was showing you. So it's it's actually really cool. So it's through Steam. So we're installing Steam right now. We're gonna head, go ahead and close, uh, minimize this for now. So we're almost there. This this desktop is starting to look pr pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of moving things. The CPU thing is moving. Uh, this SSD thing flashes too when it's being used. If this was an SSD, but it's not really an SSD, so it's not working how it's supposed to. <clears throat> but it is flashing as you can see because we're updating, we're installing stuff. And if you had another hard drive there, where, where on my other, like on my real computer here, I have another hard drive, so it's showing there. <clears throat> so we're almost there here. Come on, we're gonna log in here. There you go. All right, logging into Steam. Where did Steam go? Okay, Steam. So what you want, what you're gonna want to install is this software called Wallpaper Engine. So that's the one that you need. So we're gonna go ahead and install this and hit next. And it's gonna install itself and we're gonna wait for that to finish. All right, and it's just about to launch here, I think. So let's get this going here and then we're gonna be done. Starting the wallpaper engine. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we're gonna go with high. Hit next. Hit this auto start and set high priority. Hit okay. Hit next. And all done. And we're gonna wanna close that. And we're gonna wanna get one of these. Ones that are already downloaded. These are a bunch of cool ones, so. Uh, how about we put, I, I really like kind of like these, these ones kind of.
Shit. There we go. All right, so there's uh, one of these moving backgrounds. So now we just need some music to play and stuff should start 